Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another project in Java Spring Boot and so it's again a line ticket booking system and uh, you can say it's flight booking system or a reservation system. So before dive into the functionality of the project like how the flow is working from the front end, let's talk about the technology that we are using inside this project. So we are using Spring Boot and uh, it's using complete MVC architecture to manage the resources. It's using Maven to manage the dependencies and uh, uh, some basic CSS and JavaScript, jQueries and uh, at the back end side we are using MySQL and the queries is performing into, into the Hibernate. So it's using Hibernate and Spring on the major basis. It's using Java technology under the Java technology. It's using a Spring framework and Hibernate. So also it's uh, using Tomcat to run the application. So we are using Tomcat server to deploy the application. So let's run it and check the functionality how it's working. So if you are using this project first time, uh, for suppose if you, if, you, if you have this project and you're going to run it, so just open the first package here and go this file and run it as a java application so i'm gonna run it as a java application but as currently the server is already up so it will restart the server and run it again and then uh, it says the server is already running there so next thing uh, open your browser and you need to enter the path this is the name of the application so a local host 8080 is running uh, over the tomcat and we just enter the application name when you enter here it will deploy this application over your browser so it's running now and uh, let's move to the database and understand how the database is there so under the database we have files like user table to manage the user of the applications and the second is a uh, manage flights let's see one by uh, one by one then so under the user uh, it will this table will contain all the types of users like admin user or end user so you can say the customer so uh, for how can we differentiate users so here we have one column is called role id so role id one will be always for the admin and two always will be for the end user okay so next thing to f manage flight so this is for the flight so whatever the detail about the flight now the arrival time arrival uh, departure time and the, all the details or uh, properties about the flight will be displayed here and here we have two tables related to invoice so it will use to manage the invoice and again airport so it will manage the cities and airport and the flight details so let's move to the project and start the demo so also uh, i just uh, inform you like if you need the source code and complete detail you can check link in the description box or you can contact on the below details will provide the remote support also to configure it at your machine in case you need explanation of the source code will provide that also so you can uh, check the details in the description box and you can buy a plan according to your requirement you can you may have a source code or project report if you are looking for er diagram and the complete project report we are also providing providing the report and if you want to learn how can we develop this type of application you can uh, join the classes as well <coughs> so uh, here in the home page we have a header module and header under the header we have a home uh, sign up and sign in and this is a footer simple home page with a background image and here we have two options like sign up for the new user if new user will come and enter some details uh, that user will be entered into the database and and you can see the record will be reflected in the user table under the database next thing we have a sign in so let's uh, sign in now as an admin and then we'll move to the uh, user and see one by one <coughs> so if i move to the user table and want to see the data of user table just right click on it here and you can see the database here here we have a 
uh, like uh, there should be a login so this is username for the admin and it's already there and this is the password so I'm gonna use this pass this as a password and I just enter it sign in okay so but uh, operations a you admin can perform so we have uh, many options in the menu so add airport so if uh, you are an admin and you want to add airport in the application you can add it so just enter the airport code for example I enter 252589 and enter the name and let's say uh, the name is airport name now uh, so demo and you can say airport name and enter the CD country so I just enter some dummy data state and the CD and enter the address so just enter the full flames address and click on the save so data is saved successfully now you can check the new record in the list uh, which is called airport list also you can perform the search operation so you can search a flight by code by uh, airport name or CD so you can search a airport by its name code or CD and here we have a search button <coughs> also we have an edit operation here so you can click on the edit it will edit the record you can update the record easily from here also if you want to delete it you need to select it here and click on the delete it will delete the record so these all the crude operation you can perform here other option we have an add flight so if as an admin you can add a flight you just need to fill all the details here and you can save the records and once you have filled this form and you will move to the uh, flight list so this is another module uh, you can say sub module of flight section so here again you have option to search uh, search option edit option delete option also you can move here from the new red flight so the next module we have uh, to manage flight so under the manage flight you can select the arrival airport like for example you need to schedule a flight for a, a, some uh, to departure or arrival so you can select the flight here so you will get all the flight name that you that's available in the database it will come automatically in this drop down so you will select the arrival airport name also the departure airport name so you can select the departure name select the flight name for example i select the indico and the arrival name and the departure name here and city uh, arrival city departure city arrival date and you fill all the details it will uh, reschedule that file accordingly so this is the module to manage the flight so whatever the flight you manage in the future it will display in the past you will it will display here accordingly so you can see that attributes here the airport name departure uh, airport name flight number flight name to to from like the, the city's name arrival date departure date arrival time departure time ticket price and the edit option also here if you want to edit it the edit the record you can also perform the edit delete and search operation from here <coughs> next thing the invoice the past invoice it's showing the currently it's showing the past invoice so whatever the user visit your website and going to book any flight any available flight it will uh, like uh, he can that user can uh, the generate the invoice and that invoice will display to any user okay so let's move to the invoice detail the details are here and again we have another module is a my profile so under my profile it can edit update this data and to change password and the logout make sure if you want to change password it should be connected with the internet because it use a mail api there so let's log out as an admin and now login as a user so i have one record in the database so i'm going to use that uh, existing record to log in and if you want register as a new user you just create a sign up here we just perform the sign up operation i'm not doing because of saving time so um so you can perform the sign up operation delete the data into the database table and it will work so let's use the existing user that we have so i'm gonna use that login id as harry123 and the password harry123 so when i enter the username and password click under the sign button you can see this user is logged in now and <clears throat> here into the search flight it will that the user can see all the available flight from 
to city to city so whenever you're going to search this will work as a like from to city to city so for example i'm gonna say Afghanistan this and i'm gonna enter this data here and I'm gonna search so it will filter the data accordingly so user can search the flight according to uh, the you know from to city to from city and also if user want to book any flight he can click on the here is a demo i'm going to show you so, uh, so so click on the book option and click on the number of person so when i click for example i click three and when i click here three persons so three fields are there if you enter two person two field will be there and just enter the name gender and the dob so for example i enter this enter this this let's say this and click on the submit it will redirect me over the payment page so i just enter the payment details so some card number name month so the month should be 12 and the year 2021 let's see and the password here confirm payment so it's there and now it will display into the my invoice detail so here is the invoice detail okay so this is uh, the booking detail you can check like like the click 3000 and and under the invoice detail you can check <clears throat> if we book ticket as a number of three person the price will be price was like 2000 for the each person so total price is 6000 now it's calculating automatically other option we have here as a my profile and the change password so so i didn't i did not enter the every field or every form and a demo because it will save our time and uh, uh, thank you so much for watching and also one more announcement if you want the source code and if you want the configuration support in case you need a source code you can contact in the below link or what you can ping us over the whatsapp you can mail us so we'll share the complete detail about the project once you will have it we'll provide the configuration support also so we will run it at your machine and also in with this project will providing the project report with all the flow diagrams so it will help you to understand the requirement thank you